Hello beloved Twin Flames, this is Stephanie Parasha, Divine Light, coming out to you from New Zealand, Aotearoa, with a new update on the energies around Twin Flames at the moment that I'm tuning into. I do apologize, there's been a bit of a delay between now and my last video, um, and that's usually because uh, there's a bit of a process going on within myself and the collective, and usually if there's a delay, it means that something really yummy and juicy is coming through for us uh, to help us move forward on our paths and to shine new light and new perspectives on the Twin Flame journey and the Twin Flame mission. So I want to try and explain a concept that where I believe a lot of people might be getting a bit stuck and offer some solutions of the way forward. So just but before I get into that, just a little recap on the entire sort of overview of the twin flame mission and just a reminder of what we have kind of the, some of the key core concepts of what we've come in to do uh, in this incarnation and so that one of the main uh, areas that we're focusing on is obviously love learning about the difference between what were the, the old ideas of love that we were presented and shown however realized that that was um, part of a fear-based belief system so we're unpacking and uncovering what we thought was love and the idea that we, we were presented of love and relationships and as we're delving into the twin flame journey realizing that we are resolving and healing uh, and releasing the fears and integrating into discovering a new way of relating and we are part of a big team that are finding our way through this is all new to bring in and anchor in and embody a new relationship template that is actually based entirely on unconditional love so we're in the midst of that we're navigating that it's a huge mission it's a big process where whilst we're really much very much tuning into what's required and what's needed for the new to come in we're also simultaneously dealing with what we've inherited in our physical human form and the body and the human um, emotions and we're still working on healing and resolving so much of the fear and the wounds that are have been quite Im embedded within the human system so that's one of our one of our major uh, parts of the mission, and I'm and I'm going to focus on that part. There's other parts too, and I talk about those from time to time. Uh, but this is the part where I'm seeing a, at this point quite a number of people kind of in a similar holding pattern, and I've been coming up with as I've been working with other twin flames because often in a twin flame session, it's not just about me pretending to be an expert I'm not an expert I'm exactly the same as you I'm going through this myself and we discover the way together we learn and grow together and as we come together as twin flames and share information and share knowledge and explore together we we definitely uncover new ways of dealing with things and sometimes we're able to see each other's um, blocks and barriers and realize that that we're also holding the, those same blocks and barriers because again we're a collective there's a large number of us doing this together so often I'll find in sessions that we together co-create and uncover new concepts so uh, just want to introduce a concept that well first of all want to talk about the idea that we've been told about which is of letting go so another part of the twin flame journey before I get into the the diff what are the ideas around letting go are we need to be very very careful and mindful that some of the relationship advice that is out there that is very much based on traditional relationships that were still based in the in the fear-based uh, belief systems okay the, one of the major ones is around this particular concept of letting go so I'll just unpack that a little bit okay so when I actually googled letting go how do we let go what came up was a lot of amazing relationship advice out there again coming from the basis of the fear-based relationship advice um, which was predominantly giving the advice about moving on um, stop thinking about them block them on social media and just get over them and stop obsessing and stop attaching and stop thinking about them so it's almost as if what they're actually asking us to do is 
can t- shut down your heart completely and, and block the person out of your life and move on as if to say, I can do this without you. Now, I just want to say right here and right now that traditional mainstream relationship advice does not apply to the twin flame situation. So as a twin flame, if you've, or in not just twin flame situation, but for the new ways of relating and bringing in the new understanding of what love actually is. So what I can hear when, when that relationship advice is being told is my core wound of rejection and abandonment has been triggered by you not meeting my needs. Therefore, in order to protect myself, I'm going to need to move away from you so that I can keep myself safe. And what that, that's actually doing is you'll probably keep doing that in every relationship where you see or feel that your needs aren't being met and the other person isn't honoring you or respecting you or again you'll come back into that loop of thinking oh it's me maybe I'm not loving myself enough so I need to love myself more and then the other person will reflect that back to me and then I'll love myself now then I'll be shown love okay so this every time comes back to the same core fear and wound of rejection and rather than it being about love it's about need and it's about the 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 fears that need to have their their needs met by the other person outside of themselves so this idea of of letting go in the old relationship uh, advice template is very much about staying kind of stuck in your fears it's not actually involving looking deeply into them or moving into them or healing them or it's healing them but from a place of I'm just going to keep safe over here and look after myself so that I don't get hurt now if if we stay in that place we're not going to progress we're not going to move forward so in terms of what we mean by letting go in regards to the new relationship templates we're talking about letting go of that fear okay because that fear is actually what's really holding us back what we actually really want to do instead of moving away or closing ourselves down or shutting off or blocking people or cutting ties with them we actually want to be able to love them more we're trying to open our hearts more this new relationship template the twin flame experience is about learning how to open our hearts and learning how to be vulnerable learning how to go deeper learning how to love ourselves more and love the other more but without the 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 fear that's attached which comes out as the need for validation the need for a response so let's look at the difference in the way that we would um, for example send a message to our twin flame or send a text from the old relationship um, way of operating we'd probably due to our fears probably not want to put ourselves out on the line too much but we still want to reach out to our twin because we're still needing to know whether they're okay and whether they're still interested in us or perhaps we're feeling a bit lonely and needy and we're needing a response Okay, so let, that would be a text, something in the, along the lines of, um, hey, yeah, just, um, it's a nice day today, just thinking about you, how's everything going? Okay, so that's kind of inside of that, you can feel that it's like, I really need to know if you're okay, but um, I'm, I'm sort of just reaching out and, and making it look like I'm wondering about how you're doing, but actually I'm really um, feeling like I need you to respond to me and, and let me know that, that I'm okay. So coming from a new relationship template in terms of being able to let go um, and, and love at the same time, instead of coming from that place of neediness, it's coming from a place of love, which in itself is love, it's not neediness, that says, hey, I'm really thinking about you today and I'm feeling really deeply for you in my heart and just wondering how things are going over there sending you a lot of love okay so that's letting go loving and letting go letting go of the need to get a response um, but also being open and vulnerable in your heart and actually sending out that love in a true and authentic and vulnerable way so what we're actually looking for here is we go a little bit deeper and we navigate and we journey through this experience uh, on the twin flame journey is a way in which we can open our hearts more to ourselves being more self-loving and to our twin 
and being able to do that in, a, in an unconditional way that doesn't involve having expectations on the outcome or having an, um, an, an attachment which is the neediness to know whether they love us back. Um, so this is what we're talking about in terms of the letting go. But at the same time, we're not saying don't love them don't love them because what the old relationship advice was keep yourself safe don't love them move away okay this twin flame experience is learning how to love our twin even more despite whether or not they are contacting us showing us they love us back so this is where a lot of people are getting a little bit stuck on the journey because they they want to move forward they feel as if they have reached out to their twin and they've perhaps been a little bit of the chaser and and um, profess their love perhaps for their twin but when they we were doing that we've got to understand that when this twin flame journey began and we realized that we loved this person we were still coming from our place where we were um, still afraid so what we were actually doing was I really love you putting ourselves out on the line diving deep but taking our fears with us instead of letting them go so the analogy that I have for that is the metaphor that I've been shown beautifully by spirit is let's just imagine um, we're, we're ready to dive into love and most of us are always willing to dive into love <laughs> okay and the reason we dive into love is because we hope that we will get reciprocated that the other person is going to love us back and what we've done is we've sort of dove in to that deep water and we've gone yeah I just want to really experience love and I'm going to leave myself really open and vulnerable I'm going to dive in just so that I can feel what love really feels like and we've put ourselves out there we've put ourselves on the line and we've dove, dove in the water and and what we had was either a mixture of either we hit the bottom fast and it came up quicker than what we realized and we smashed into pieces or we took all our fears with us and they became a heavy baggage and we sunk to the bottom um, or we just were diving around in the ocean and we lost sight of our twin flame and or our beloved soulmate that we dove into the ocean for and they went missing and we couldn't find them we were swimming around and we lost our breath and actually drowned in the water and because we were, we were looking for them and they were nowhere to be seen so some of these metaphors I'm sure some of you will understand how that feels because when we dove into the water we didn't realize that we still went into the water with our fears so now what's being asked of us because a lot of us have already done a lot of work on these fears of rejection and fears of abandonment and have filled ourselves up with amazing amounts of self-love and acceptance and um and yet and then we've gone okay we'll try again now we're going to love our twin because now i love myself and so now they're going to come to me and we're still sitting here waiting no response some of us want to reach out to our twin, um, but then we've still got a little fear in us that says, um, no, if you, if you go any further, you're just going to get hurt again. You know that you've been down this track before. You know you've dove in and you've, and you've professed your love and they don't respond. So I'm just going to sit here and trust that they'll come back to me when they're ready. In the meantime, we're sort of left in a space of, so what's happening? We, we still don't really know what's happening. And there's a still a part of us that, that still needs to know whether they actually love us or not as to whether we should be invested in spending any more time wondering about what's going on with our twin flame. And then again, the part of us comes in and goes, oh, I'm not supposed to be attached. I'm not supposed to be thinking about them. Move away um, because that's all the advice that everyone's telling us and and stop thinking about them and stop, stop obsessing and just move on, okay? So then we go around in these kind of loops of, um, overlaying 3D kind of fear-based relationship advice onto the work that we've already done around self-love and not being attached and yet there's still some more layers or traveling or journeying or diving deep to be done and we're as we go through, as we uh, go through this experience, we're uncovering that as we go, because this is all new waters, right? So this is uncharted territory. So let's just say we dove into the water, we had our baggage, we realized, oh God, I've got all this baggage with me and I've got all these fears and I've just got to let um, release them out. So we're going to 
dumped that bag that was trying to sink us to the bottom. We saw that even if we hit the bottom, we, we still survived. But now we can see that there's a crack in the, in the ocean floor and we can actually go a little bit deeper and do some more exploring. Or let's say perhaps we've learned how to swim underwater and breathe at the same time. So we can actually go a little bit further and go into uncharted territory. And that, and that we've got more ability to dive deep without the fears, okay, without that neediness. So the diving deep is willing to love our twin even more than what we have already in a newer, deeper, more vulnerable way, but without the fears attached. And so how we, that, and because we have let go in that moment. So what that might look like is I absolutely love my twin and I'm going to send them all the love in the world at the same time I'm letting go. I'm letting go of the need to know whether they received that message, how they interpreted it, um, whether they're going to respond back to me, whether they love me back or not, and how it's all going to turn out. I am just sending my twin a whole lot of love without conditions. Now I know that that sounds great in our minds and a lot of people have heard the, these messages but we've got to realize that we've, we've, we've also got to embody this whole experience and allow our emotions and our body and give that part of us time to catch up and, and fully understand the new levels that we're going to. Because sometimes these concepts of you know, self-love and forgiveness and um, letting go and unconditional love are very um, concepts and, and we, we're sort of trying to understand them in our mind but we're actually now needing to really integrate the learning and into an, an embodiment and actually fully embody what it means to be able to love because we don't want to turn away from the possibilities of love and shut down our hearts we want to go deeper into them but without the need without the need for that to be reciprocated and some of us are at that point where we're kind of pretty much brave enough to take that next deep dive and to, and what does that really mean does that mean again we need to reach out to our twin well maybe it does on some level mean that deep dive could be let's give it a name it could be related to communication so let's just say you're prepared to deep dive a little bit more around communication with your twin instead of reaching out and needing something from them perhaps you're going to be more open from your side and uh just express yourself and how you're feeling and be more open and authentic with them and then they that will model something for them that they might then feel um, safe enough to be authentic and and trust you that if you can trust yourself to be authentic and put yourself out on the line and be vulnerable and, and courageous that then they may also do the same okay so this is about learning how to communicate and again it not just being focused on this um, romantic partnership where it looks like a certain way on the surface we go deeper twin flames go deeper it's about learning how to be really present with each other really intimate really present with yourself and really intimate with yourself really honest with yourself really honest with each other so this is the depths of where we're traveling to, of this experience around learning how to, to create this new version of love on the planet that is not neediness and not mistaking it for that. Yeah, so I pretty much think I just read my notes to see whether there's anything more on that. So, you know, what um, might be a useful affirmation as you go through this process is, um, you know, and, and, and it's also make, making sure that if you are deciding to jump off the deep end <laughs> that you are pretty much well equipped for that as well you know that you are ready it might take time you might want to stand on the edge for a while and ponder and consider and and go back onto the flat ground and say hey I'm not quite ready to deep dive yet because I feel that I've still got a little bit more self love to do a little bit more work to do on myself so that I will be okay you know if I get out into deeper waters and I feel like I can't breathe or or I am still a little bit worried that I might smash myself on the rocks that's okay because we are 
have got several parts to us. We are, we are whilst learning how to be in this new love, at the same time simultaneously healing and integrating and resolving the wounds and the fears of the past. And that's where sometimes we t do a little bit of an overlay and get confused about how to progress because we're still working on resolving those fears. And that's okay. Give yourself space and time to still complete continue to work on those things and 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 not be in a hurry not be in a hurry um just let yourself give yourself time give yourself more love if need be radical love and radical acceptance and so what i'm saying about sorry what i meant to say about that affirmation was um I, i'm ready to fully love myself fully love my twin and at the same time let go let go of the past, let go of the fears, and let go of uh, the need to have my my needs met and validated by someone else, that I'm ready to love unconditionally and to dive deep in this. Okay, so just sit with that and repeat that several times, and you might want to do that several times a day, and it might not just also be about your twin flame, it might be about you willing to dive a little bit deeper with other people, with other relationships, and all relationships are an opportunity for growth and learning, and let's not label them and call them, you know, give them names, but all relationships are an opportunity to practice this uh, new and cultivate this new energy of loving deeper, opening our heart chakras, but letting go at the same time, loving and letting go, loving and letting go loving and letting go okay i'm going to leave you with that and and i really hope that's helped you and i'm sending you out heaps and heaps of love as always and lots of light and if you'd like a session with me or to go further into this uh, please click the, cl click the link below and i look forward to hearing from you okay thank you for listening bye for now